Oh, thanks for sharing your plan. <clears throat> Look at the photograph that you sent, that you posted, this one here. And this sticks out more in the photo, sticks out less, excuse me, than the photograph <clears throat> in your model. So if you're trying to duplicate that look, you know, there's too much space here. So it looks like your your floor plan always determines the geometry of the roof. Okay. <clears throat> and it also I'm looking at the photograph. You got your garage doors here. See how much higher the roof is here and here than in your model? <clears throat> See? The roofs are supposed to be up here, but the software is programmed to put the roof planes at a plate height that's the same as your ceiling height in the model. So it's not going to do anything else. It's not going to read your mind. You have to tell it exactly what you need and want. Now I'm going to go back to plan view. <clears throat> so if, if you want to get a Shed roof here. Let's see, that looks like it's about 512. So I'm going to open this wall dialog box and go to the roof tab <clears throat> and tell it I want a 512 there. And then here and here, <clears throat> those two walls. I need to mark them on the roof tab, full gable wall. That way a, a shed roof at 512 will be built from here to here. <clears throat> and uh, that front facing gable looks like 1212. So I'm gonna go over here to the build roof dialog and set that to 12. I don't know that all the roofs are 12, but you didn't, I don't, I don't I can't wrap my wits around the entire house because he only showed me part of it. But anyway, I'm gonna take this wall and tell it to have a gable over it. <clears throat> See, not a hip wall. That's the default condition. I want a gable wall there at 1212. And we'll have a 512 shed roof over here. Hopefully. <clears throat> the only other thing I see in the photographs is that there's a a gable roof uh, on the second floor. I assume right here. I'm going to tell that to be a gable <clears throat> on the roof. See, I'm telling the software what I want. And using this software, that's what you do. Also, I've got you, you got your snap grid on. I'm not going to use that, so I'm going to turn that off. They brought it out several versions ago, and I never thought it was a very good uh, feature, so I don't use it. <clears throat> okay. Now, on this level, I'm guessing that there's a gable here. I'm just guessing. <laughs> But I'm going to put one there, whether there's one there or not, by telling going to the roof tab and, and telling the software I want a gable there. And then this house probably has a gable that matches this one on this end. Well, how do you do that? Well, you find the uh, wall break tool. Let's see, where is that thing? There it is. Wall break. I'm going to use my cursor to line up with the other gable wall on the left and left click to separate this part of that wall from this part. Then I'll tell this part that I want on the roof tab, full gable wall. Okay, we're just about ready to build roofs, but on the second floor, you need to go to edit default settings, floors and rooms, Four levels, 
second floor. Let's see what the ceiling height set to. Uh, it's set to nine feet. I mean, that's basically nine feet. <clears throat> the reason it doesn't say 108 is because of the thickness of the floor finish and the thickness of the ceiling finish. See? So you get, end up with fractions. Now, I don't know if this is correct or not. I'm going to can't, I'm just going to leave it alone. Go back to the first floor. And it's set to nine. I don't think so. I think the, I think the first floor is uh, 10 feet. I'm just guessing. <laughs> but your garage doors don't look uh, tall enough. I mean, there's not enough space above them for this to make sense. Let's see how that, I changed the first floor ceiling height to uh, <clears throat> 10 feet. Oh, and this is a boo-boo here. Yeah, see, this wall goes inside, but on the outside, it needs to be siding. So they go back to the first floor for that. There it is. So this wall here, I'm just going to take the same wall type handle and overdraw that interior wall so that uh, there's siding sticking out on all sides. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I'm going to build roofs now. So go to the build roof dialog. And looks like the overhang is about 12 inches. So I'm going to change this default figure from 18 to 12. And this from 18 to 12. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's any other attributes. The roofing material looks like it's kind of gray. So I'm going to go over to materials. And... Uh, I don't see any. Well, yeah, okay, I see some gutters. That's not really important. We'll go to the roof surface and the ridge cap. Whoops, I need to press the control key <laughs> to just get that one and that one. Okay. <clears throat> it looks kind of like a, an upstat house. So I'm going to go over here to manufacturers. I've got got a bunch of libraries I downloaded. You can download them too from the chief uh, website if you have, you know, an SSA account. <clears throat> I guess they're still doing that the same way. And I'm going to go down. Let's see. I want certainty auto work. Yeah, roofing, and I want uh, asphalt. No, I, I want designer. Yeah. And then the color, hmm. I'd say this, this one here. I've got my library browser set up for, uh, excuse me, vector view. The reason it doesn't look like that image. Now I got that, got that done. I'm going to go over to roof, build roof planes, and then click OK. Uh. <laughs> okay. Let's see what it did. I remember in that one picture that you, well, this is obviously uh, not what's needed and wanted. <clears throat> I'm sorry for that. <clears throat> so for some reason it's, well, let me see what pitch, pitch this is. <clears throat> That's 12, like I ordered. And I guess it just, oh, I see what happened. See that 512 went all the way up. Let me look at your photograph again. Oh, those photographs are different. <laughs> oh, okay. I was doing, I was trying to emulate uh, this one. <clears throat> but like I say, the geometry of this, this file that you shared is not the same as ge geometry as this photograph, so they're not going to look exactly alike. <clears throat> so I think maybe I made it too, a little bit too steep. I'm going to go back to uh, 
active plan view and tell this wall, I'm going to tell it I want a, uh, go to roof tab, change this from five to three. And then uh, rebuild the roofs and see what that does. I don't want the roof going all the way up to here. That's goofy. <clears throat> so I'm going to build roofs again with the new commands that I just changed. <laughs> That's a little bit better. I've got a gable here and I got a gable there. Okay. Now, what I commonly do when this kind of crap happens. I just click on the roof plane and see it's got move handles. So I'm going to simplify the geometry of this stupid thing by just grabbing those handles and making the geometry sim simpler. Excuse me. I'm just checking to see if I got it that got rid of that so I'll know momentarily if that's the case. <clears throat> Looks like I didn't. Yeah, there's still a chunk of it up there. And if you use this software very much and especially if you're going to become an architect, you really need to know how to manually uh edit these roofs. Now, I'm doing it in camera view so you can see exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Uh, most of the time I just do it in plan view. Over here, I want to get rid of this part that's sticking out. Get rid of that. I'll get rid of that break there by dragging it to a corner. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm going to take this, pull it down out of the way. Now I'm going to take this roof plane here and click on it. And then uh, use this tool here, the Join Roofs tool. Left-click and join it with that. <clears throat> Okay, now this thing, <clears throat> okay, I'll, I'll deal with that later. Now, I need to change the shape of this roof plane here to finish up. So I'm going to turn the camera a little bit so I can see better. Yeah. Uh, click on the roof plane and then change the geometry of it with the break, break line tool. See, and I can extrude that over there and then I'll join this shed roof join roof stool with that one uh, but when you get this sort of thing happening it means the roof planes cutting off the outer layers of that wall so I'm going to pull it out a little bit and that should fix it yeah I did okay so that looks more like the photograph and I had to guess at the pitch <coughs> Maybe this might be a little steeper, but I don't know. If you wanted it steeper, you just click on the roof, open it, and change the pitch. It automatically changed. Now I'm going to click on this and, re and reconnect them. A little bit higher up roof, but I think that's a little bit closer to, to the actual, to the photograph I saw. Now this thing here, you put a red mark in one of your pictures. Let me explain this to you. This is called a roof saddle. And when you have a gable coming up against a flat wall, you have to have something like this in there to get the water from here to the corner and then off the off the roof. <clears throat> and like I say, the geometry of your model doesn't match the geometry of the photograph. So this is going to be larger than perhaps you want it. I'm going to go into plan view for this. <clears throat> See, there's that roof, what I call the roof saddle. <clears throat> and ideally, I don't want it coming out here. I want it coming out over here. So I'm going to use this tool here called point to point move and click on the baseline of that roof plane and move its baseline uh, probably right about there. And then I'm going to take this edge. <laughs> Let me turn the dimensions off. 
we'll go over here to display options. I did mentions and turn those off. They're just getting in my way. I'm going to take this line and use this uh, parallel perpendicular tool, left click, and make it parallel, you know, par <laughs> parallel to that wall and bring it up. Now, I can't have this over, over this wall because let me show you, it'll chop the wall off. See, no wall. So I'm going to click on that roof of saddle again and I change the geometry of it. I need, may, I might need this tr triangle. I think for now, now that I think about it, I'm just going to move it over the baseline of it. Well, it's not the baseline, but I'm going to move the edge over. When I did that, the wall should come back, and it did. Okay. <clears throat> and I bet the the pitch on this is probably uh, twelve twelve because that's what I yeah that's the pitch. So I think I want uh, the fissure top height to stay. So I'm going to lock that and change the pitch to like three twelve. Then click OK. You see that drop down. See, it's chopping into this wall here temporarily. Go back to plan view. And I need to turn the reference display off on, excuse me. Where is that? Right there. Okay. So I can see. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. I'm getting oriented here in plan view. Okay, this roof plane needs to be reshaped. So I'm going to use the break line tool and reshape it. There'll be a straight edge over here, I assume. And I'm going to break it again around that 90 degree corner. Snap that to zero degrees. And this edge that's left. I'm going to connect it to my uh, roof saddle. There we go. Left click. Whoa. That's going way too far. That's all right. I'm going to go ahead and click. Obviously, this will just cause a big hole in the house. Let me show you. <laughs> Replace. Now that the roof saddle is still there. But uh, I got some more work to do. Straighten this up. Let's see. There it is there. So I'm going to, again, reshape this so it doesn't impale the house. Put a break right up here next to the wall above. And then I'll grab this end, pull it down. Yeah, that's, this wall not lining with this wall, the, the second floor wall doesn't line up with the wall below. So that, that's probably not correct. You have to get your model correct if you want the geometry of the roof to look correct. Okay. So these, this wall and this wall are out of alignment. And that's probably wrong. I'm just guessing, but it's probably wrong. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the reference display off. Uh, where is that? There it is. Okay, now I'm going to reconnect these edges. Oh, see, this is chopping that corner of that wall off. Let me show you. See, I just, this one's coming back. I have some more adjusting to do here. And this is chopping the edge of it. And that's what's causing that. So... Find the roof saddle. Oh, it's this edge that's chopping it. So I need to put another break. Or maybe I don't. I think I'm going to raise this up so that the bottom of it is closer to the corner. I'm just going to take the transform replicate tool and raise it up about six inches and see what that does. 
see the Z delta plus six. I'm going to do that and then reconnect the edges. And yeah, see? See how it's closer to the ground? That's not high enough. I'm going to raise it up another inch. And then try that join roofs thing again to see a preview and see if I'm going to get. That's real close, but I think it needs to come up just a little bit more. So I'm going to get the roof uh, saddle. Oh, sorry. I just need to select it and then use this tool. I'm going to raise it up uh, half an inch. One half. And then try to join them again, see where they where they join. So you get a preview. That needs to raise up a little bit more. That's right there. I need it over here. So I'm going to raise that up uh, an inch, I think. And then we'll ch we'll check it again. And then I'll fix this goofy stuff here. <clears throat> I thought I'd do this first. That's real close. I think I'm going to raise it another half an inch. And this is all trial and error. I don't have any greater wisdom on exactly what you should do. I'm doing it in increments and then checking the results. Uh, and that's what I recommend you do. I, that's a lot better. I'm going to join them now. And I'm going to look at, check this out in the camera. Okay, it's still chopping the corner a little bit. There's something, and this is just too high. I need to pull that down outside that wall. And that's why it's chopping a hole in it. Uh, must still be chopping. Yeah, here the wall's coming back. If you've never seen this done, you know. <laughs> I can imagine how vexing it might be. Now, that corner is messed up because this is just by that much chopping that corner above. So I'm going to break the roof plane right there and then get this off of that wall. Voila. And you can't do away with the roof saddle. It didn't need to be as prominent as the one shown in your image, but it needs to be there to make the water run down here and then run off the roof. Otherwise, you'd have a, a lake here and it, and it would leak into the house and cause all kinds of terrible problems. But based on what you posted, this is what I think would need to be done. And you can see it's not just, you can't just click button. You also have to learn how to manually edit these and uh, use trial and error to arrive at a product. I think this looks a lot more like the photograph that you posted than where you where we started from. And like I say, the roof cricket is necessary. It doesn't need to be a huge thing that like we started out with, but it needs to be there functionally in uh, your architecture. Okay, that's it. Hope this helps you, but whether it does or not, Make it a great day, and thanks for your kind attention. Adios.